Welcome everybody, King Clarity Gaming here, and what we're going to do today is take a look at a couple of vehicles that will be coming out soon on GTA Online. Uh, first one, obviously, you can see right here is the Invade and Persuade tank. This comes from the arcade game Invade and Persuade 2. Those are, uh, you know, from this game. But anyway, uh, this is a vehicle that we all will be getting for free on Christmas, provided that we log in. This is a gift from Rockstar to us. And if you were to miss this, this vehicle will be 2275000 anytime thereafter. So we're going to be taking a look at what we can do to this vehicle, and we're going to take a look at one other vehicle that I think is coming out next. And I could be wrong. I hope I'm not wrong, because I can't wait for this car. But let's take a look at this, and we'll see what we can do to it. Doesn't really look like there's much that we can do to it, so let's just put some uh, liveries on this thing. So it's basically just gun running shit, looks like. We'll just do a large geometric. Let's do a little bit to it, spray it. I don't know. Give it a metallic color of some sort. Let's do. Uh, oh, let's throw ultra blue on this thing, whatever, it doesn't really matter. Alright. And then as for the weapons, you got the stock weapon, a flamethrower, rocket launcher, and a plasma cannon. We'll take a look at all of them, but we'll start with the stock weaponry first. Let's drive away so it doesn't end up closing the mod shop on me. Alright. So, we'll just start firing off this. So this looks like... A really slow machine gunish type of thing. Doesn't look like it's all that strong. Let's go take a look at the next one. Alright, so let's take a look at the next weapon here. The next weapon we have here would be the flamethrower. It doesn't really look like it's got all that good of a distance. Seems like it'd be fun to have on here though. A little bit better than the first machine gun type of thing, though. Alright, let's go back and change our weapon to the next one. Alright, so the next weapon we have here is rockets. It looks like there's a, a little bit of a delay. You can't just rapidly shoot in succession with them. But they are pretty cool. And then let's just take a look at the last weapon here, and then we'll move on to the next car. Alright, so the last weapon that we have here is the Plasma Cannon. It's essentially the same thing as the very first weapon on here, but fires faster. And has a little bit more power. It's essentially the same weapon that you get on all of the arena vehicles. But yeah, so let's that's pretty much it for this tank. You get it for free. Again, it's called the Invade and Persuade RC Tank. You get it for free on Christmas, otherwise if you don't log in on Christmas Day, you'll be paying $2,275,000 for the vehicle. And we'll be back in a minute here to take a look at the next car. The second part of this video is the next vehicle that we're going to be taking a look at, and that's the Karen Sultan Classic. I've been really, really excited about this car right here, ever since I saw it when I was looking through it. This car has two price brackets because it has a trade price. One, if you just want to skip the trade price and don't use it in the casino heist, it would be 1718000 Now, if you do choose to use this vehicle as a getaway vehicle in the heist, then you will get the trade price of 1288500 This car is based off the Subaru Impreza GC8 and the Mitsubishi Lancer Revolution 1. So let's go ahead and hop in this vehicle and take a look at what we can do to it. And I've been very, very excited about this car. I just can't wait to actually own it on GTA Online. Alright, so let's just get the stuff out of the way first and just do the armor and brakes quick. Now let's go to the bumpers. So we got the stock bumper, a touring bumper, the street bumper, the GT bumper, GT Mark II bumper, and then the drift bumper, and I like that one the most, so we'll go with that. Then with the rear, we got the stock, the extended lip, street bumper, GT bumper, and then the drift bumper. 
and I like the dirt bumpers. Fresh to death. So we'll go with that just to match the front. All right, next, let's get the engine out of the way quick. Okay, now the exhaust, you got the chrome tuner exhaust, track exhaust, chrome track exhaust, performance exhaust, chrome performance exhaust, big bore exhaust, and then the chrome variant, chrome performance, and then the big bore exhaust. Now, as you can see, it's got a place on this bumper for dual exhaust, so we'll have to go with that. Otherwise, it'll look weird, so we'll take that. Line in the jungle. Now, for the headlights, it's got the plastic housing, which is pretty much black, primary color housing, secondary color housing, and then the carbon housing. So we'll go with the carbon housing for that. And now the hood. So you got the stock hood, and then basically secondary, which is the same as right now because the car is only one color. Then there's the carbon variant, a sticker bomb variant, then there's the vented hood, and then all the variants, the performance hood, along with all the variants, the GT hood, and with secondary vents, and then carbon basically, sticker bomb version, then the race hood, and I like the GT hood, just like this. All about making a statement. Then we'll do the same musical horn I always do. Skip the lights and livery for right now. Let's put a blue plate on it. Now let's see what color this vehicle looks good in. We'll go to a metallic color. Let's just kind of sift through them here. Something's telling me that this should have some sort of like a bright color to it. So I'm going to go with orange on this. And then we're going to put a pearlescent on it. That'll make it kind of darken out and kind of brighten up. And I've learned that if you use certain kinds of uh, purple, it actually works out really well. I just need to remember which purple it is. I think it was uh, no, it's midnight purple. Brightens it up a little bit, or makes it stand out a little bit more. Then we're going to make the secondary color the same thing, just orange. Alright, there we go. Alright, now we can just go ahead and put the xenon lights on it. I know a lot of you don't like neons, but I'm just doing this to show what the, you know can be done to the car. Let's give it orange neons, because that makes sense. And now let's take a look at the livery. So we got the classic stripes, which are just white. Karen stripe, which is just this on the side, which I really like. It's pretty plain. The shopping list. Bukaru Racing, Street Racer, Impotent Rage, with the number 9, Redwood Racing, Backside Skateboards, it's kind of cool, Tribal Throwback, that looks pretty cool too, and then Karen Performance, and that's it. We're just going to go with the Karen Stripe on this, keep it plain but still give it something so it doesn't look naked and then we got a secondary roof which same as primary in this case a carbon roof and then a sticker bomb roof we're going to keep that stock and then there's accessories to the roof so you can get like a roof spoiler a shark fin spoiler a primary sun strip which I kind of like that and secondary the roof scoop secondary a dual roof scoop, secondary, and then the box on the roof, and that's about it. We'll go with the roof scoop, the dual one. And now we got the skirts, rubber extensions, street skirts, GT skirts, and then tuner skirts. We'll go with the GT skirts on this. And then the spoilers, we got the low level spoiler, and then with the primary and secondary, a ducktail spoiler primary ducktail doesn't look too bad actually and then secondary carbon then the street wing and then secondary GT wing and then primary and then you got performance wing the Karen extreme wing and then the mark 2 mark 3 basically the same except for just changing color a little bit
Um, we will go with the street wing, so it's not too ridiculous, but still has one. Now, do the suspension. So this one also does the cambering, kind of like the Nebula Turbo, so that's pretty fucking cool. So we'll go with that. Then get the transmission. Oh, and then it's just having you change the color of the trunk and stuff. So I guess you could carbon the whole thing uh, down the middle. We'll keep that stock. Get the turbo That'll in push here. The needle off the meter. Then get it some uh, sport wheels or tuner. Probably tuner. I would put chrome on here, but it doesn't give me an option for that, so can't. Yeah. Let's see. For something good here. We'll just go with this. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Kind of alloy it so it. Well, you know what? We'll just do carbon black so it'll match a stripe. Throw the tire design on here. Bolt for tires. Give it some orange tire smoke. And then lastly, we have the windows. Oh, apparently there's more. The window spoiler. So there's a little lip, you can do it in primary, secondary, there's a little ducktail, and then there's performance. It all looks kind of ridiculous, so we'll just do it with like a, a small roof lip. There we go. That should be everything. Alright, now let's take this car out and give it a test drive. Damn. This thing's got some nuts right off the bat. Oh shit. God damn. Almost broke the car. Okay. So, yeah, this is a great little tuner car. And drift car. Oh, Jesus. It's not as hard to handle drift wise as the Nebula Turbo is. But I really do like this car and I can't wait for it to come out. And I'm hoping this is the car that will come out on Thursday. So this is the uh, Karen Salton Classic. I really like this car. I cannot wait for it to come out. And hopefully this is the vehicle that's coming out on Thursday. There will be more videos of other vehicles in the days to come. But yeah, I just want to give a reminder that there is a $100 giveaway once I reach 1,000 subscribers. So four people will receive a $25 gift card to whatever platform they choose. So that'd be PlayStation, Xbox, PC, Nintendo, Google Play, doesn't really matter. Only rules are you need to be subscribed to my channel and have it show that I can actually see that you're subscribed to the channel. And hopefully you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And as always, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Please like and comment. Remember to subscribe if you want to become a part of the royal family. And as always, keep it positive because dreams do come true if you work hard to achieve them. And have a great rest of your day.